Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new vlog. I am so excited for today. I swear I had... We've got a guest. Come up here, sweetheart. Look. He's just saying hello. Come on. Everybody wants to see you, Bangs. Come up here. Today is a big day, isn't it, Romper? We are venturing out to somewhere that we haven't been since October. I feel like, I don't know, maybe October, November, December, around then. I'm going to London and I'm so excited. I'm really excited. We're just going to have a real chill day together. Is that all right? We can just do some bonding. Um, I've woken up, the sun is shining, the tank is clean and I need a shower. And we're going to go to London. I think I'm going to basically just have a good time by myself. But also, I'm going to try all the things that I've wanted to try during like lockdown but obviously I haven't been able to um, and there are so many things food places that I have been lusting over that I feel like you guys will want to know as well if they're worth it or not um, and one of them I actually haven't seen on TikTok but I feel like my product developer food knowledge intel I'm calling it that it's gonna be a thing that everyone tries this is really muggy if it's not but I, I found this place and it looks really interesting so we're gonna try it today. I'm gonna bring it back to old crack where we just like have a day, just me and you. How's that sound? Basically, I swear, if you're in my room, you've gotta at least come off my bed. Rude at this point. Anyway, we're gonna start off first by having a shower. Shower clean, and we need to work out what we're wearing. The sun is shining, beautiful, stunning, not a cloud in the sky freezing um and i feel like i've just seen everyone who's in london in the skimpiest outfits and i'm like guys it's all about layers layers if you're going to london see i really wanted to wear this which is a nice little shirt that i got with like this collar and it's giving me like house of the prairie little house on the prairie vibes like sound of music post it on my insta but it's so thin and it's freezing do we do a grace classic dungas do we go for a roll neck what do we go for here, guys? We could do this. This is fun. We know I love a fun jumper. Right, guys, I think we've picked. I've got these, like, Lucy and Yak trousers, which are really nice because they proper cinch you in at the waist. But they're so comfy, and they're, like, cotton, and they've got pockets. Um, and then I've got this little top on, which is, like, a little rib. White one, can you see? And then I don't know whether to go for the little converse or these, which are the comfiest trainers in the world. If you don't have these, Reebok Classic C85s, honestly, the comfort on these, I didn't have to break them in at all. They've got like this toweling bit on the back, so good. Right, now I need some brekkie before we can start our excursions. Let's go and get brek. <laughs> guys i have had my brekkie and i'm getting ready to go i just have to finish up a video which is going up tonight also my nose is feeling really weird i don't know if it's hay fever but like it's really sore um and also i don't know if anyone else has been experiencing extremely dry skin i thought that i had finished accutane at least three months ago so why the heck am i experiencing trapped lips to the ninth degree what's going on there i don't know also packing my bag and it's really weird because I literally have not needed to pack a bag in so long and I'm bringing out the old school mini bottle which is the best thing for days in London because lots of places do like refill your bottle for free and it means you don't have to carry a massive one so this little guy will save your life genuinely oh, I don't know what coat guys I don't know what the way hang on I really need to see do we go puffer or do we go long trench it's actually a lot. I've mugged myself off here. I don't know, but the thing is, I am going to be outside all day. Honestly, British weather is the hardest weather ever to plan for. I'm not going to lie, it feels like I'm going back to uni. Why is this vlog giving me old grack vibes? I don't know what it is. I actually loved my uni experience so much. I would happily go and do my degree again. Honestly, I can't stress enough how important it is to do what you love. We 
are here, we are in London and I'm going to my first destination. Guys, they were so freaking nice in there, honestly. 10 out of 10 recommend. I haven't even tried it, but I like them already. And now we're going for a lunch to Egg Slut. I am so buzzing for this. I literally saw it in lockdown 1.0 and I've been wanting it ever since. I feel like you can tell but no one's around and oh my gosh I want to move here <laughs> it's so flipping beautiful and I just love exploring London and I got my egg slot I got the bacon cheese egg and I've literally seen it all over social media and um, so we're gonna try and I can't find seating anywhere I can't even find a park but we'll continue looking to be honest I'm just enjoying looking at all the houses and feeling like I'm in Notting Hill. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, Chinatown is popping off for like delicious looking treats and I don't know when to stop, this is my problem, I wanna try it all. But I think I found a little garden, so I'm gonna sit, hopefully, in this little garden and we can eat. I found a little bench, but it is quite busy here. Not busy, but there are loads of kids around. I don't know where the scratch of my nose is come from. Um, I'm gonna try this, which is apparently the best brown sugar boba tea in the whole of London. Apparently that's even their claim on their website. So this is what she looks like. They said to give it a stir, so give it a stir. Now let's try. Hmm. Look at the little tiny bubble at the top. It really reminds me of something comforting and I can't put my finger on it. Mm. Up next, we have the egg slot, which I literally have seen so much. I got the bacon, cheese, and egg. And let's give it a go. Oh, I've my nose. Look. The yolk. Oh my gosh. The egg slot. It was good. But it kind of reminded me just of like an egg sandwich that I make at home. I feel like it wasn't actually that much better. But it was brown sugar milk boba. Boba. It was really good. I highly recommend this one. This is a really good. Right, I have finished and I'm on route. I was going to go to that bun place, but then I got there and they were kind of not vibe, but I wasn't in the mood. Um, so instead, I'm en route to this cheesecake place. Now, I don't really like cheesecake, but apparently these are like out of this world. So I thought if I try them, then surely I will like them. Do you know what I mean? Guys, I can't find it. I've literally been walking around and I've got the map up and I just wonder if it's closed, but I don't know because it literally just opened. We're back from our adventures in London. Let me tell you, I had a fantastic time. I got my outfit just right. The weather was perfect. It's a glorious, glorious day. I had so much fun. I genuinely like... I would do anything to live in, in London. Oh, it was so good. But then some, <coughs> you know when the hand sanitizer just like suffocates you a little bit? Honestly, but my, my, my mind fluctuates all the time because sometimes I'm like, maybe I want to live in Australia, maybe I want to live in New York. And I think the New York thing is because one time when I was modeling, they were like, oh, do you want to go to New York for a bit? And I was absolutely terrified and I never ended up doing it. And you know, there's that thing in the back of your mind where you're just like, why didn't I do that? That was so stupid. I get annoyed at myself. But you can't be annoyed at yourself because you can't look back in the past and regret your, uh, your decisions because the only place you're going is the future. So maybe one day, obviously when COVID situation looks a bit different we can do that together but i actually bought something on my way back obviously a bit dev'd because um the cheesecake place that i couldn't find it didn't know where it was 
um, and my favourite sweet shop wasn't open. And I also made such a fool of myself. I did vlog it, but I don't think you could pick up on the foolishness. I stacked it, face planted. Luckily, my jeans didn't rip. I don't know how they didn't rip. I literally face planted in the middle of Covent Garden just after I bought these cookies. And then as i was walking to my favorite sweet shop i noticed it was closed and it was outside this restaurant and the bag just breaks so i actually gave myself the ick i didn't even know that was possible but, um, but on the way i thought you know what the the egg slot was like um brunch um so i got this which is cha cha roll this is essentially now i have had this in brighton something similar where it's like a burrito roll but for sushi are you i don't know if you can see this the layers in this we've got red cabbage we've got salmon we've got edamame beans we've got sushi we've got sushi rice <gasps> cool. so i think we can just chill in the car there is something i love about eating in my car i feel like it's my safe space i'm gonna get a wee little picture for grack snacks obviously because i'm really obsessed with it at the moment grack snacks i really just i love having a little passion project because i feel like we've obviously been doing the same thing every day but it's just so fun to like have a wholesome little food instrument the group of you over there is so freaking cute everything that's going on is like a prop up <laughs> right let's give her a go mm, there's something crunchy going on in there what's that crunch coming from oh my gosh there's like little tiny red pop the textures mm, this is so good this is this is not what i expected it to taste like i feel like it's got more flavor than i thought there is some sort of crunchy texture i can't work out what it's coming from this is a bit hard to eat though. I've lost an edamame bean. I feel like there's nuts in there. I want to live in Notting Hill. Oh, but it could be because I've romanticised it because I've watched Notting Hill the movie so much. Like Notting Hill is one of my all time. Actually, I think it definitely top three films. It's up there with The Proposal, The Holiday. I just love a rom-com. I don't want to feel sad. So I don't like proper rom romance films because then I feel sad. Because normally I feel like romance films just play with your emotions too much. But I don't like comedy because then they're too silly sometimes. So a rom-com, I don't like action, too tense. I don't like horror. I just like rom- I just like wholesome. Then went to this place called Floozy, which I have seen all over Instagram. And these are completely vegan cookies. And they also have really delicious looking rainbow milks, they're called. But they're obviously vegan as well. And, and I got this one, which is peanut butter jam. Look at that, and I feel like it's it's stuffed with something, but I don't want it to explode in my car. And then I also have this one. It's also really nice packaging. I'm really into it. And then I also have this one, which is cinnamon toast crunch. And it's got like bits of cinnamon. Should I try this one? I'm gonna try it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's like a layer of cinnamon. Honestly, like cinnamon roll. <gasps> I'm not just saying it. That is incredible. That is delectable. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to try this peanut butter jam one. I wish more places did sample bites because I want a bite of like everything. I, do, I get a bit bored of like one flavour. So you notice I just like a little nibble of everything. Like I wish there were miniature versions of everything wherever I went because I just I want to make sure that I get the right flavour. Um, so I feel like cookie places, everywhere should just do miniature things. Are you ready? What's happening in here? Whoa! There's a bit of jam! That's a good one too. But I feel like the cinnamon crunch one really had took the biscuit. <laughs> if you'd pardon the pump. Right, let's go home. I'm trying to think, what should we do with the rest of our day? I wish we could drive. I don't have a good tri car tripod. So I wish we could drive and chat. I'm back now. I'm about to show you one of the first places that I went to that kind of kindled this whole video. I could do this all again tomorrow. There are always places I want to try in London. Um, was this place called Buns From Home, which I've seen everywhere on TikTok. Um, I haven't seen these yet. They have even savory ones. They have like dessert ones. They have ice cream ones. But I went for like the traditional one. And again, I got an array of flavors because I can't pick. All right, I found that hard. So let's see. I haven't seen them. Let's see what we got. Oh my days. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? So I think that's normal cinnamon, almond, pistachio, dolce de leche, banana bread. And I don't know what that one is, but oh my gosh. You know what? 
I think I'm gonna go and watch High School Musical 3 and have a good time. I am thirsty, so I think a hot water would, would do me just right right about now. My nose is really annoying me. I think it must be hay fever. Honestly, hay fever is so evil. You're just there like getting excited for spring and summer, and then the hay of the fever like no don't be excited because you're gonna be sneezing and you're gonna have an itchy nose and you're gonna feel like ripping your eyes out every day for like three months straight hey guys i'm about to watch high school musical three i've cut up a little bit of each one so i have that miniature taste of everyone as i said which is basically like one full one it's great i mean i get a little bit of everything this is what i'm saying i feel like every bakery restaurant everywhere needs to do this i love a little sample so i don't know what one to go for first should we go for the plain cinnamon one i feel like if we do the plain one that's probably the best option isn't it crisp on the outside soft on the middle but i wasn't getting much flavor in that one there wasn't much cinnamon but maybe that's because i didn't have enough of the filling this one you know what? i have no idea what this one is i'm just gonna try it mm, that was so good the filling on that one. Oh, so this one's the Dolce de Leche and it's got like caramel running through the middle. Hmm, good. But I feel like the caramel doesn't have much caramel taste, but the actual bun's really nice. The I feel like there could be more there. Seven out of 10. Now let's go for the pistachio one. I think I really like this one. Mm hmm Yeah, the pistachio is really good actually. And then this one's the chocolate hazelnut one. That one's my favorite. That's the chocolate hazelnut one. Mmm, that one's so good. I kind of wish I tried some of the dessert ones. They had like raspberry cheesecake and all these other ones as well. Um, and then this one's the one I'm most excited for. This one's banana bread flavor, which is very lockdown vibes. Mmm, nice. But if I'm honest, I can taste a bit of cardamom. There was a cardamom bun, but I just didn't think I'd like it. And I feel like that one tastes a bit like cardamom. Taste the banana bread. The banana's there. It's nice. It's pleasant, the banana flavour. And there's this bit of soapiness from the cardamom. But a good time. I think that was the Dolce de Leche one. Actually, that was delicious. My favourite was the chocolate hazelnut one. As I assumed, because I love the chocolate. If I lived in London, it would be really bad because I would just try everything. Like, I'd literally spend each day in a different area of London and just go around each cafe. Anyway, I'm going to watch High School Musical 3 now. The other day, I listened to the full 1, 2, and 3 soundtrack. And I realised that High School Musical 3 soundtrack is actually the best one. And also I'm going to tidy my room whilst I do it because look at this. I have all of these clothes here that I need to put away. I have tidied up my room and now I'm about halfway through High School Musical 3. Guys, we have that clock. We have that. That's in our kitchen. Yep. I feel like you've definitely had enough of me for one day. So I hope you've all enjoyed this little besties outing all together. I've really, genuinely, thank you for coming along on my adventures. I've had a really good day. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I truly love you more than words can say. You are so appreciated, you are so valued, and you're so needed on this earth, alright? Be kind to yourself.